The debate comes down on significance to one of two issues. In contention one, sub point A, their first scenario is that if we don't act, Assad will use chemical weapons again. My first argument is this is not a significant argument to begin with because in cross acts he concedes that it's not the most important argument that we need to focus on. My second argument is that Assad cannot use chemical weapons again in the status quo because of the international agreement that he is doing on. They are dismantling his chemical weapons, which means that he cannot use them again in the future. My third argument is, is that diplomacy is a reaction to Assad. Their evidence says that failure to act will allow him to do this again. We did not fail to act in the status quo. We did act. There was international condemnation. We have Russia overseeing the dismantling of these weapons. There is no significant threat from Assad using his weapons again. The second scenario they offer is subpoints B, C, and D, which is that if we don't attack, this is somehow going to make Iran feel comfortable with nuclear weapons. My first argument is there is a difference between chemical weapons and nuclear weapons that they concede. There is no evidence that indicates that just because they are allowed to do one, they will do another. My second argument is that there are international sanctions in the status quo that are stopping Iran from developing nuclear weapons right now. And they are working. They are changing their election system, and they are encouraging and entering into new negotiations with the United States. My third reason that's not a significant problem is because of Israel. Israel will make sure that this is never going to happen because they will never allow Iran to get to nuclear development of a militarization scenario. There is no significant problem in the status quo. Assad has been stopped. He will not use them again. Iran has been stopped or will be stopped by Israel. And you don't have to worry about Israel striking and everything getting out of control because empirically they do this. They struck Syria a few months ago and a few decades ago they struck Iran. And we did not end up in World War III. You do not have to worry that it will end up in World War III this time either. The status quo is just fine. In contention number two, we talk about solvency. I didn't see much from the 2AC in solvency. Extend my argumentation. All of that proves that right now, striking Syria will not send the proper message to Assad and will not send the proper message to Iran, especially in light of the disadvantage, which says that that message will not only solve, it will be counterproductive to what we are trying to do. It will make the problem worse. At the end of the day, as a judgment, you have to ask yourself, is there a problem worth fixing? And the answer is no. But even if you believe there is a problem, look at solvency. There is no extension of the affirmative story. Striking Syria cannot help fix the problem that you see, especially in light of the risk of the disadvantage.